हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सोनम यादव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बयानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज इलास्टिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर सो फर्स्ट वी शुड नो व्हाट इज इलास्टिसिटी इलास्टिसिटी इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ मटेरियल टू रिटर्न टू देयर ओरिजिनल शेप एंड साइज आफ्टर रिमूविंग द एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज कॉल्ड इलास्टिसिटी वी हैव एग्जांपल्स लाइक rubber and spring like when we apply a force on rubber so it will change its shape but after the removal of that force it will regain its original shape so this it has a property of elasticity same happens in case of spring when we apply a force on spring then it changes its shape but after the removal of that force it or it again regain its original shape so elasticity it has uh, materials are of two types first is perfectly elastic and second one are plastic materials so the what are perfectly elastic materials those materials or we can say those solid materials which regain their original shape and size after the removal of the external force those these are called elast perfectly elastic material but those particles or those materials which do not regain their shape or size after the removal of external force are called plastic materials so elastic these are perfectly elastic and perfectly uh, plastic materials so in elasticity we have stress and strain so stress is what the applied force per unit area is called stress and strain occurs when we applied force uh, on any a particle or material they change their shape according to their length their volume or maybe a uh, tangential so this occurs in case of strain so here are two properties what is stress uh, first one is stress and second one is strain so what is stress the ratio of force applied per unit area is called stress so mathematically we can write stress is force per unit area and this force is external force applied to that material same here uh, stress is the ratio of change in size and shape of the initial size uh, shape to the initial size or shape under the action of the external force when we apply external force on any material then that material uh, shape and size got changes so the ratio of change size to the initial size is called strain so here stress and uh, strain they have they are of three types stress uh, first one is longitudinal stress second is uh, volumetric or we can say bulk stress and third one is tangential or shearing stress same here strain it also has three types first one is longitudinal stress Th uh, second one is bulk or uh, we can say volumetric strain and uh, third one is tangential or shearing strain so we'll study about that one also so stress in volume uh, and length so here we assume a wire and we apply some force on this one so its initial its internal properties get changed or we can say that the area of the cross section get changed so this we can say is longitudinal stress longitudinal refers to length when change in length due to the force applied occurs this is called longitudinal stress and uh, same as volumetric stress
when we apply force to a particle then it 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 get contracted or maybe it uh, we can say its volume get decreases so the change in volume due to that force applied is called volume stress and same occurs in shearing or tangential stress when we apply a tangential force on a particle then uh, and keeping this area fixed then there will be a change in in this material and it will displaced from its original position with an angle theta so this is called tangential stress so now we will study about strain first one is longitudinal strain and what is the definition of strain is the change in shape the ratio of change in shape to the original shape and size so here we are talking about longitudinal and longitudinal refers to length so we can say del l is the change in length and l with the original length same here volumetric strain this is volume volumetric refers to volume and strain according to to the definition of strain the change in volume by original volume and third one is shearing strain when we apply a force tangentially to a object which is fixed by one side so it also refers to change in length by original length or we can say that theta by theta is the quantity by which the shape the original shape changes this is the angle this is the angle theta now we will study about hooke's law hooke's law or we can say law of elasticity according to this law we can say stress is always directly proportional to strain and when this proportionality sign goes a constant come that is e and e is stress by strain where e is constant and can be said modulus of elasticity so this is modulus of elasticity here yeah. so this modulus of elasticity has also three parts because elasticity comes where by stress uh, stress and strain and stress are also three part and strain is also uh, having three parts 
so we can uh, we can assume that elastic modulus of elasticity can be of three parts first one is young's modulus of elasticity second one is bulk modulus of elasticity and that uh, third one is modulus of rigidity and young's modulus of elasticity that refers to change in length or uh, the bulk modulus uh, is with respect to change in volume and modulus of elasticity that is theta that represent the shearing or the shearing stress or strain so young's modulus of elasticity that is denoted by y second one is bulk modulus of elasticity that is represented by neta and third one is modulus of rigidity that is denoted by theta now we will discuss about their mathematical terms so here are three modulus of elasticity was first one is young's modulus of elasticity second is bulk modulus of elasticity and third is modulus of rigidity this young's modulus of elasticity refers to length so uh, what is the def from the definition of modulus of elasticity stress by strain so and we are talking about length so longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain and stress is force per area and longitudinal strain is change in length by original length or we can say same here uh, bulk bulk modulus of elasticity it is denoted by neta and volumetric stress that is force per unit area by volume so change in volume by original volume and in case of volume we can say this is this is related to pressure or this can be equal to pressure so p dot v here theta that is shearing stress by shearing strain so shearing stress is force per unit area and strain refers to length so change in length by original length so f dot l to a del l these are three modulus of elasticity thank you hope you like this video please like and share this video thank you